Most of us judge students on their results, but results are only an outcome of the behaviours or actions that those students have taken. If a student studies hard, puts in a lot of effort, then within the context of their capability, they'll get good results. If they don't put in any effort, if they slack off and they're uh, you know, disengaged with their learning, then again, within the context of their capabilities, they'll deliver poor results. Even the behaviours themselves are simply an outward expression of their internal beliefs and values. If a student believes that maths is useless, then they're going to value uh, studying for the maths test much lower than playing Clash Royale on their phones with their friends. If teachers want to uh, cure the results, then simply telling students to change their behaviour is, is going to be pointless. Uh, it's when you influence the values uh, and the beliefs that that's when you get real, you get real change. We have to think in, in education about how can we influence the values level uh, of students. Uh, psychologist Robert Hardman uh, developed three levels of values development. Understanding that values are always changing and always being influenced by the people around us. From the ages of zero to seven, we call that the uh, imprint period. And the imprint period uh, in, those age, in those ages, the, the children's values are imprinted upon them by their parents and their family. And it's important to know that values and, uh, and beliefs can't be taught. They're observed and absorbed by, uh, by interactions with other people. From ages 7 to 14, we enter into uh, what we call the role modelling period. And the role modelling period is the uh, key opportunity for, uh, for educators to influence the values of those students. So from age 7 onwards, the students are looking to develop a little bit more uh, locus of control, uh, exploring in the world, trying to set their own path in life. And so they're looking for external figures who, can, uh, who, can, uh, who they can role model and help to develop their values. Those role models uh, may be sports people, it might be a comic book or TV uh, hero, superheroes or heroes, it could be coaches or mentors or teachers. From 14 to 21 years of age, uh, they enter into what we call a socialisation period where peer group is the most critical uh, or the, the highest influencing factor in, in terms of changing values. Can teachers be role models? And this is an interesting question because of course teachers have a very special place in, in children's lives. The greater the authority level that a teacher has, the less impact that they'll have on values development over, over time. So between 7 and 14, if the teacher has a very high uh, perceived authority, their, their values influence will decrease over time. As we're seeing modern classrooms with flipped learning and blended learning and uh, co-learning environments, so instead of teachers being uh, you know, a, a source of authority, their perceived authority is reduced and that provides opportunities for greater influence in terms of values. Uh, the other great opportunity for influencing values in that role modelling period from the ages of 7 to 14 is of course with coaches and mentors uh, of extracurricular and co-curricular programs. Those uh, coaches and mentors are uh, often coming in as subject matter experts and subject matter experts are demonstrating uh, a value of lifelong learning. And it's important to understand that uh, you can't teach values, uh, values are absorbed and observed. Uh, so. You have, to have, you have to have someone living those values in order for the student to take those values on. Uh, so yeah, role, role models uh, who are lifelong learners themselves, who are subject matter experts and may have, may have spent their whole life dedicated to you know, playing chess, learning a musical instrument, uh, you know, a particular sport, are demonstrating that value of lifelong learning, of deep learning. And, and that's the, a great opportunity to really deliberately influence uh, the, the values of a student to help them to become lifelong learners.